Good morning. Uh, this is a special edition of Walking with Pastor Keith. I'm on an exotic location in Northeast Arkansas, and just thought I'd share with you this kind of last installment of hearing from God. And in particular, um, two things about discerning the voice of God. How, how do we know it's God speaking? Um, one is other believers. You know, one of the most selfish things we do the gospel is make it about me, myself, and I. It, it, it's it's all about what I'm experiencing, what I'm hearing. It, it, we, we turn it into this solo experience in the New Testament, never intended for the Christian life to be lived in a solitary kind of way. We, we are connected. We're in a community. We have family. There's this great verse in the book of Acts that says, it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us. And what that tells you is the church, as it was moving forward, they were trying to hear God. They were trying to discern his direction and intention. And what they did is they shared with each other what they were hearing until they came to this place of agreement. And they said, you know, as we've discussed this, we feel that it's, it's a good idea that the Holy Spirit agrees with us, that we agree with each other. So one of the ways we hear God best is in a community of trusted friends. So if you're trying to discern, especially early on, whether or not you are really hearing from God, talk to your friends about it. Talk to them about what they're hearing. Let them have input into that and learn to hear to God together with other believers. The other thing that really helps us in discerning God's voice is God's word. Because, you know, the Bible declares God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So how God has communicated the past will be very much like he communicates right now. So we want to be listening to God's word and saturating ourselves with the Bible so that we understand how Jesus spoke, how God speaks, and whether or not that message is consistent with the word of God. You know, there'll be some times that you might hear a message and you think it's saying one thing, but if it boldly contradicts things that God has already made clear in his word, well, you can rest assured that's not a word from God. So two wonderful tests for uh, God speaking in your life or other believers and the Bible. Both of these things are really, truly reliable guides to help us discern whether or not we're truly getting a message from God and can move forward with confidence. Okay, I will see you again real soon. God bless you. Hope you have a great weekend.